little bit. All right, back to the call. Share content. Oh, I'm sharing right now. Dang. Boom. All right, bet. Drop a one in the chat if you can see my screen. All right, bet. We good to go. We good to go. All right, bet. So once you guys have your Proton Mail accounts set up, which everybody on this call should definitely have their Proton Mail set up. Um, Proton Mail is an email address that's basically encrypted, so that you know it's it's very difficult to hack it. Um, very difficult for someone to get your personal information off of there. So we we like Proton Mail. Okay, we we really enjoy Proton Mail. Very good to have. Okay. Um, once you have your Proton Mail set up, you're free to go set up whatever exchange you want. Um, you know, right now I'm using Crypto.com because I just like the way that it works. I like the interface. I think it's super dope and easy to use, um, especially because they accept debit and credit card transactions, which is um, that makes things so easy, right? I don't have to buy Bitcoin and then exchange that Bitcoin for other coins. I don't have to buy Ethereum and exchange that and do all this extra stuff. I simply can just buy coins. Um, if they don't take you know, debit cards, right? Like for example, um, what coin was I looking to buy where it wouldn't take, um, where it wouldn't take cash? Let me see. Like for example, was it XRP? Yeah, so in order to buy XRP, right? I, I would have had to bought Ethereum first on here. But even even doing that, you know, like it's it's very simple and easy transactions, right? So I'm gonna just go through um, crypto.com and a little bit about how it works um, and what to kind of look for on here. A lot of you guys have it downloaded and are verified on it. Um, go ahead and drop a two in the chat right now if you're already verified on crypto.com. So I just know how many people are already using it. Okay, that's that looks like pretty much everybody. Let me see who I'm missing. Asada. Like Marcus. All right, drop a three in the chat if you're not verified on crypto.com. Okay, that, that makes it 10 times easier. Okay, cool. All right, so check it out, right? Basically, all you have to do is download crypto.com, the app, and then register right on the app. Right. Once you do that, then you should be ready to go. Like it should take maybe like 15 minutes to verify you once you upload like the picture of your ID and everything. It should take very short amount of time. It's gonna say two to five business days, but it'll be verified tonight. Okay. Um, once you get in, it's gonna have this little favorites list, right? And the favorites list is gonna be comprised of um like crypto.com coin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. Right, Shiba Inu is on my screen because I purposely went and favorited it. And how you do that, you just click the coin that you want to look at and you hit this little favorite thing up at the top. Okay, super easy, right? But let me show you guys why I really like the, the platform. Remember when I said that you can use your credit or debit card? So basically you just click on what it is you want to buy. So let's say I want to buy some Ethereum. I just tap on Ethereum and then I come down here and then I tap buy E, right? It's basically going to have um, a spot for you to, you know, put in your card information and then you just type in however much you want. So up at the top, it's going to tell you how much USD. And all you have to do is just kind of put however much Ethereum um, you want to purchase. So you might have to do a little bit of, um, of tapping around just to get the number right or just to get the number, you know, in a good spot. Like, it's a little annoying that you can't, that you can't type in the dollar amount that you want to spend, but it is cool that you have, that you have the ability to just type in however much ETH. And it'll also help you learn, you know, how much this stuff is valued at, just at an eye glance too. So that's been kind of helpful. I remember one time I was talking to Mav the other night and he was like, yeah, I think the fee was like zero zero one four five um, Ethereum. I was like, damn, why do I know that's like one hundred fifty dollars? You know, so 
easy, right? You just go in there, you just type until until the amount matches how much you want to invest, right? If you if you're unsure, you know, or you want a very exact number, all you have to do is Google um, how much in a dollar amount is Ethereum, and it should tell you the exact number. Super simple. Okay. Same thing with Bitcoin, right? You can of course buy it here, and you know you can buy Bitcoin and send it. Um, that's how we fund our trading account. So you can start doing that through here if you want. If Cash App is being a pain, you feel me? Um, Cardano. Say I, say I wanted to buy Cardano, I could just buy it with my debit or credit card. Easy, easy. All right. Now I'm gonna show you um, what I've been investing in, the the top coin picks that I've been um, looking into and why. Okay. Um, I of course have Ethereum because I wanna I wanna own you know five Ethereum coins before the end of the year. So I'm definitely just picking away at that, um, using whatever whatever gains I get on any other coin to kind of toss it into Ethereum. Um, I was looking at Shiba Inu simply because like, dude, it was having some crazy returns. Like everyone's talking about it. Um, it's the number one view crypto right now, uh, just past Dogecoin. So like, it's got the clout, you feel me? I put like $50 in there the other night and it shot up to like 135. It's on a little dip right now. If you want to buy into that, um, still a good time to do that. Um, Cardano, Cardano is just a really good project. Um, if you want to ever learn more about a coin, Something else that you can do is you can actually come back to this home screen or this track screen right here. And you can just tap on the coin that you're interested in and click info. Once you click info, it'll pretty much kind of break down um, what Cardano is or what any coin that you're looking at is. And then it'll supply you a website at the bottom. Now, the thing about cryptos and websites is that you can you can learn a lot about a project from going going to its website. So let's click on the Cardano Foundation website. A few things that you want to look for when you're going on these crypto websites is that, you know, one, they're they're nicely designed. Right. Which it looks like, you know, this is a nicely designed website. It's nice and put together. Um, they have their missions very clearly put out. So it's easy to understand what they're doing here, okay? And then they have a forum. They're listing everything that they got going on. Like, let's see what they got with Reddit. So if I go check out their Reddit, then I can kind of see, I can kind of see that they have 403,000 members. That's really what's up. It's 4,000 active members online right now. Like that, that says something about this community. It says that this community is pretty strong, it says that um, you know, a lot of people believe in this, this project and in this cryptocurrency. So, you know, that aside from the fact that Curtis Cobain said to, said to invest in it, you know, I'm definitely throwing some money at it. Okay. And also it's the fifth ranked um, cryptocurrency and it's only a dollar and 81 cents. So little things like that will help you kind of decide what to, what to jump into, but the biggest help is definitely going to be go live. Right, um, Curtis Cobain on Go Live definitely the one that you want to check out. You want to go um, watch all of his priority videos. Um, I, I believe that there are five of them. You just go through them and check them out. Um, and then he has his videos that say portfolio. Um, if you want to just skip and get right to it, um, you already got your Crypto.com account. You already got Coinbase. You already got um, Kraken. Man, honestly, you need all three of them. I'm gonna just be real with you because when certain things are not on your broker, you're gonna feel mad salty. Okay, so Trust Wallet, um, Coinbase, Crypto.com, and Kraken. And I'm gonna drop those in the chat too. And Gate.io. Kraken. Yeah, if you know some extra ones, you can drop them in the chat. These are just the ones that that I kind of. The I back, you feel me? The I rock with. But if you're using anything else to buy your um to buy your coins, that's awesome too. Just make sure that you actually own the cryptocurrency and that you can get a private key for those. Otherwise, it's pointless. Okay. So, like I was saying, you can pretty much look up any coin on here, even coins that are not offered. Like for example, um, Dent, right? Um, if you want to find Dent, let's say it wasn't start, you could just search it up at the top, boom, bam, then it'll come right up. I would tap it and it just kind of go through, 
and just look at it, see what exchanges it's on. I see that I can get it on Binance. Um, I don't know what FTX is, but I'm assuming it's an exchange broker. KuCoin is one, Gate.io. Okay, see, that's why you want to have a whole bunch. If you got Gate.io, guess what? You can buy Dent on there. I can't purchase it on here, but I can see every exchange that is listed on. So Source, Binance, KuCoin, Uniswap. Those are the ones I'm seeing that a lot of people use. Let me see. Another good coin to have, I'll say StoreJ. Boom. Come to StoreJ. It looks like I can't buy it on here. What do I do? Go to exchanges. Oh, okay, cool. I see I can buy it on Coinbase. Easy, right? Easy. But that's why I like crypto.com the best because even if I can't find the coin on here, it'll direct me exactly where to go to actually purchase it. Like XRP, it says that you can buy it, but you really can't buy it on here um, simply because we're in the US. So Binance, um, that's really the only one I see in here that you know people that I know use. If you know any of these other exchanges, feel free to go rock with them, but you know I wouldn't do it. I would just use Uphold really. And for anybody who wants to purchase XRP, it really is a good time. I got like 40 bucks in XRP or something like that. Um, but I bought it using the Uphold app. So this green app, you can download that too. It doesn't have a whole lot of cryptos on there, which is why I only got 40 bucks on there. I'm not really like too into it like that. But it doesn't have a whole lot of cryptos. It's got, it's just got a few and then it's got mainly stocks after that. So like, if you're looking for another place to like buy stocks or something, like I guess that's cool. Let me see if you can. What's the, I don't know what all these little... Oh, oh, the market's closed for, for them. So it's got that little cancel thing on it. Okay, cool. But yeah, so I guess you can buy stocks. Um, you can buy certain certain um, cryptocurrencies on here. But it's a good place to get XRP. So this is like my XRP wallet. Just going to throw money at this whenever. And um, it's still a good time to buy XRP. So do that. Okay. But if you understand a little bit more about the crypto.com app, drop a four in the chat. If you have any questions right now, drop a five. Cool, cool. Seems like everybody really understands. It's super easy. Um, something I would say to pay attention to is this right here, where it says top gainers. Let me tell you something, y'all. Like, Everything I've seen in the top gainers, like they be slapping me in the face when I don't take them sometimes. Like this Yearn Finance, I peeped it in the top gainer at like 77K. And I was like, geez, why is that thing moving like Bitcoin? What's it got going on, right? I took another look at it. That motherfucker was at like 91,000. I was like 91,000. Oh my God. It just had a little small dip. Just had a little small dip. And so... um. So yeah, like, I don't know. I was looking into this one, but I'm just like, man, how high could this thing go, man? It's already at like 90K, like she, oh my God. This thing just jumped up $2,000 while, while we were looking at it. Did y'all see that? Yo, drop a one in the chat. Are y'all, if y'all are paying attention, drop a one in the chat. Cause that was crazy. I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, you saw it? I saw it, yes. Yeah, that thing jumped two th over $2,000 while, like, while we were looking at it. It was just at 88. Now it's at now it's at 90. That's crazy. That is crazy. This thing jumped super. Crazy. And when I saw it, it was at 77. So you can learn a little something from the top gainers. And like, think about it like this. When you buy these coins, you don't have to stay in them forever. Like you make a good little 50 percent on a random coin, like take that money and move it. Like, you know, like I bought, um, like I said before, I bought Shiba Inu at like 50, like 50 bucks. It's at 120 right now. This is a uh, crypto.com. This is crypto.com. It looks like that. So you want to get the crypto.com app and then you want to get the DeFi wallet too. It's going to come up when you search crypto.com. The reason you want to get the wallet, let me let me let me give you some game about this wallet, right? This wallet when you when you want to withdraw money, how it works is you'll go from crypto.com and you'll basically hit this button like transfer, right? You'll hit withdraw. And then you'll see this option um, for the DeFi wallet. Once you hit that, then you can kind of go through all the different currencies that you have. 
and you can send them to your wallet. Now it is gonna charge you a little fee to change it to the wallet, but once it gets to the wallet, um, this thing right here is crazy. Like y'all know when y'all send money from um, from Cash App to Prosperity or from or from Cash App to really anywhere, and there's like that 45 minute wait. Yeah, this this wallet right here it like speeds up the process. Like it it can send it can send crypto anywhere from like in two minutes. Like it can send it super fast, super super fast. So you guys definitely want to have this wallet. Um, it sends money like super, super fast. So imagine just making a withdrawal, you know, making a withdrawal and sending it to yourself like in top speed. That's what that wallet is capable of. So overall, I'm just a big fan of the, the crypto.com app. Um, you can also like this transfer button up here. If you do deposit, you can um, you can fund it with Bitcoin as well. So like if you don't have a debit card to use, um, you can also fund it the same way you would fund like a prosperity account. Um, also, if you have um, currency somewhere else, like on another on another exchange, like if you have some some uh, some crypto on Coinbase and you want to move it because you know that that Coinbase is going to pair up with the government soon and kind of basically tell them all the money you're making, then what I would do is I would just send your crypto from Coinbase to crypto.com and let it grow here because it, it may be a little bit safer here. Okay. But you can see that it accepts a lot of different coins, a lot of different coins. So like, let's say um, synthetics, right? I wanted to send some synthetics to my crypto.com account, right? It's going to give me the synthetics wallet address. And these are different for every currency. So it's really useful that you're able to deposit whatever coin you need to have on here. And it'll just add it to your portfolio right here in the wallet. So like, let's say, for example, if I was allowed to have XRP on this app, right? I would just go here to transfer, deposit, crypto. And then I would just search for XRP. And I can't do it right now because I'm in the US. But if I wasn't in the US, I could click that and then a little code would pop up. I just go right over here back to my uphold account and just send the XRP um, to my crypto.com. You feel me? So simple things like that are good to know because XRP wasn't always banned in the US. Yeah, I would get a VPN, but a lot of these, a lot of these exchange brokers, and listen up, please, really listen up to this part. If one of these exchange brokers just decides to like be a hard ass about VPNs, they can actually seize your money. Like if you guys have a Binance account that's not US, if you're just using straight Binance off of the VPN, then if they find out that you're in the US, they can actually seize all of your crypto. Wow. So a lot of these, a lot of these little crypto sites, like if they catch you using a VPN, like they can just take your money and, and not have no reason for it. And I don't want to put myself in no position where like someone else can have control of my money. So I'm playing by the rules with these cryptos. You feel me? I'm playing by the rules, bro. Um, what else is on this app that's dope? Oh, crypto.com also um, has, a, has cards. So like you can get cards with different rewards. Like some of them um, give you cash back on stuff like Netflix or Hulu, um, things like that. Um, let me see if I could pull up the other cards. This one kind of sucks, but it wouldn't let me get any of the other ones. I don't know why. Like, it's not like they do a credit check or nothing like that. So I don't understand. I think I think you had to own a certain amount of money um, worth of their coins, of their um, of the crypto.com coin to get certain cards. But I'm not about to be holding forty thousand dollars worth of crypto.com coin. Get out of here. So that wasn't happening. But I, I think these cards are going to be super dope, though, because like in the future, I'm assuming that we'll be able to pay for certain stuff in like Ethereum or in Bitcoin. And I want to have a I want to have a card that I can pay using crypto. I think that would be dope. So y'all take advantage and order these cards ASAP because I heard that they can take some months to send out, which is whack. Okay. But yeah, guys, that's that's really it, man. Like crypto.com is the easiest way to purchase um, cryptos right now. And they give you 30 days to accumulate as much crypto as you want with no fees. Um, I think it's genius. I think it's beautiful. 
And um, you can buy as much Shiba Inu right now as you want with just a debit or credit card. I think that's amazing. Like you can get 7 million right now for 230 bucks. Wow, what a deal. You feel me? So you guys get out there, you guys bargain shop, go look at these cryptos. Hell, just throw 20 bucks in something. I don't know. Look, if, if I would have threw 20 bucks in Yearn Finance, guess what? I would have had 30 something dollars now. And I didn't do it. So now I feel stupid. What if I would have threw a hundred bucks at it? Would have had to $150 now. You feel me? Like these cryptos are super awesome. So that's the call guys. Tell a friend to tell a friend and um, just make sure that you guys don't keep this information to yourself because that would be lame. Like what if I was making all this money in cryptos and I was like, ah, oh, uh, they'll figure it out. It'd be lame. You feel me? Go tell a family member, go tell an aunt, go tell a grandma, go tell your cousin, go tell your sister. I don't care. Tell somebody, go grab a stranger on the street and be like, yo, you got that crypto.com app. And you make sure that they're involved, man, because look, if I'm going to tell you guys something, right? These cryptos, some of them move um, based on community efforts, like the Shiba Inu token. People can't, people don't even know why some of these tokens are going up. It's because of clout. It's because of attention. It's because a lot of people are, um, are investing in these coins blindly. So if you're telling everybody to buy it, guess what? It's, it's going to have a positive effect for your returns on that coin. So go out, spread the word. Who knows? You might go viral and make a coin go viral. Um, I'm probably going to drop my own coin pretty soon. It's going to be the millennial token. Watch, watch. And y'all better go buy that thing. You feel me? We're going to the moon with it. So that's the call, guys. Love y'all. Drop a love in the chat. And um, anybody who didn't um, get the information, I recorded it. This will be on YouTube. So see y'all.